Welcome to another week of Redefining Success. And today we're going to dive into the topic of the role of faith in entrepreneurship. If there's anything we need more in our business and in our entrepreneurial journey, I'm going to why this is so cool that we get to really dive into a topic that really sets a precedence in the foundation of what business and life is, right? Because as entrepreneurs, we are the business. We are the individual behind the scenes, behind the business, behind the vision, behind everything. And really, we can't do it alone. And that's one thing that's really, I think, true and something very pertinent in my life is that I recognize no matter what I do, looking for outside sources or external solutions to any of the issues or problems that we encounter is that sometimes it's beyond our control. And we need to have that firm foundation of faith where we can really rely on our bigger source, which is our creator. And so having that faith in our creator, faith in our abilities, faith in ourselves, really sets that precedence for laying that solid foundation. So we're going to share a few little tips and snippets and things that we've learned in our business and in our walk and how we can really hope to inspire and encourage you guys to really step outside of ourselves and start leaning on the creator of our creation. And that's really our business. So Amy, I'd love for you to share a little bit into some of the faith aspects that have played a major role into your business as well as your life. Yeah. So one of the things you mentioned was, you know, it's not only faith in like something bigger than us, but it's also that faith in ourselves. And it really comes back to that because, as you said, we're always seeking all of this external validation. We're taking all of the courses, doing all of the things. And a lot of times we feel like we're hitting that wall of resistance. But what we have to realize is that it starts with faith. It starts with faith in ourselves, faith in something bigger than us, just faith in general and releasing that need for external validation. Because when we're basing our worth off of everything else, you can't control that. There's there's literally as much as we want to control, we don't have control Mm -hmm. over that. So when you really just get to a point where you can just offer it up and begin to trust in something that you haven't seen yet, Mm -hmm. that's really where the faith component comes in. Faith is just the willingness to believe in something that you haven't seen. But in taking that action and having that faith, what that's doing It's creating proof for you now because there's proof of concept all around us. I mean, I've seen glimpses of, you know, I'm a believer. So I see glimpses of God every single place that I look. Mm -hmm. I have to have that faith within myself to have that belief in what I have not yet seen. And I think part of the faith too is really being intentional about trying to remain detached from the outcome. And this goes back to external validation. We tie so much of our worth to the outcome. What if instead we embrace this beautiful journey and the things that didn't go our way, you know, those obstacles and roadblocks, what if we use those as opportunities to grow, to grow our faith in God, to grow our faith in ourselves, to grow our faith in those things that our brain has not yet gotten the proof for, but we can start to shift our mindset and use that as leverage to help us believe and deepen our faith. Yes, I couldn't agree more because, I mean, I'm I'm reading here on some of my notes that, you know, when we look, as you said, the outside sources, the external solutions and, and, you know, As entrepreneurs, we typically go into business to solve a problem or solve a need and serve others. And when we come from a place of love and care, and that's really the backbone of the foundation, which is, you know, God is is love. And so when we have that love and that spirit within us, we could take this God-sized vision that he has given us. And even though we don't know our steps, he helps prepare that way for us. And that is the faith where we can just blindly trust in if he gave us the God sized vision, it came from him first. So he's already laid out the steps. He's already laid out the plan. But it's that trust. It's that surrender. 
it is the ex the expectant solution to our problems, right? So when we can abide and when we know that we're being taken care of, that we are we're just serving out the mission that we're here on this earth to do, that we can fully surrender and trust and say, hey, listen, whatever is going on, I might not have the answers or the solutions. And the first thing, instead of us seeking externally, go find those solutions is to pray about it. We have to seek within and say, you know, let's have that talk. Let's have that prayer moment. Let's have that conversation with God and say, hey, I'm, I'm troubled here. I don't know what to do, or I'm really struggling here, or my business isn't you know, fill in the blanks, whatever that is. And when you can seek internally for the external solution, there's that relationship, which we've already talked about in a previous episode about, you know, practicing the, like faith is a walk in relationship. As you said, it's trusting and believing in the unseen, just like we can have that faith and trust in our own abilities or the simple faith and trust of when you sit down on a chair, it's going to support you. So faith really is that trust. And when you have a trusting foundation, you can build a relationship and that is the relationship with your creator. So essentially you're co-creating your business, your outcome with your creator. And that's one of the coolest things that I've recognized in my business is, you know, even though we're CEOs of our business in, in that term, but really God is our CEO. Like he's running the show no matter what we do. He's like, we can plan everything. He's like, I gotcha. Like there, there's going to be something better or different. So don't stress about trying to control the outcome, controlling every step, every moment, because when we let go, we make way for something better and greater to show up in our life, to serve out. And, you know, many times it has always worked out better. And it's like, how cool is that? And yeah. you're, that wasn't on you. That was yeah. on you. And so that was cool. So just one scripture that came to mind here. It's like when we're in that place of like, oh my goodness, what do I do? What do I do? Right? Because there's some panic, there's some fear, there's some worries, doubts, all that stuff creeps in because we're, we're human. It's going to, but in Corinthians 1, uh, 1 16 or 1 Corinthians 16, 13 is be on guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong and do everything with love. And that is our business. That's yeah. where our heart pours in. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and so what better, better way to love is to be loved and receive love by love our creator. So that's yeah. really it's good scary. Cool. It's so yeah. scary to okay. let go of that need for control. And that's really where our faith comes in and helps support us. And as you said, you know, we're, we're always looking for this external validation. You said something that helped you is prayer. Mm -hmm. And that's absolutely true because what prayer is doing, it's, it's not only us asking for things, it's us getting quiet and listening. Mm -hmm. It's us listening to, you know, those thoughts, those feelings, listening to the messages that we're meant to receive. So no matter what you believe in, you know, even if you don't believe in God, you know, the universe, something bigger than you. You always have these signs around you where a lot of times just too busy mm -hmm. to realize that they're right there in front of us the entire time. We're so focused on those limitations that we miss them. But it's so, so key to get quiet, to have that time to pray or meditate or just sit with your thoughts. Whatever feels good for you, where you are at in your journey. Take the time to get quiet and just quiet the noise and listen. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing when you intentionally create this space. And it's hard to do as an entrepreneur because we're always used to doing and going and hustling and the next thing and the next thing. So it feels really uncomfortable to create that space, mm -hmm. to just sit and be to just be in your body, to just be in the moment, to be where your feet are. I mean, it's a practice. Mm -hmm. But practicing this over and over and over will build that faith. Mm -hmm. It will build your faith in yourself. It will build your faith in there is something bigger than me out there. It will build your faith on, you know what? I have an impact to make in this world. 
and I am going to do it scared. I am going to continue to take messy action because I have faith. I have faith that I am making a difference in this world. Absolutely. And one of the things that I kind of came to mind was the concept of when we're constantly doing what we end up not doing is being. Yes. And when we're in business, many of us are focused so far on the next thing, right? What we got to do tomorrow, what we got to do next week, next month, next year, right? So we think big, big in the big picture in long run. But what I've recognized even from like a personal parallel here is when we're in a place of focusing so far into the future and many of us, we've kind of sandwiched that as something we're trying to outrun or outdo or outperform something in our past. So we have our future, which gives us that anxiety and gives us the troubles like, oh my goodness, I can't move on till I get the next thing, blah, 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 right? And a lot of that is coming from our, our past that has fueled our future. And in between that is our present moment. And in the present moment is his presence. Well, we could focus solely on him, our creator. Again, whether that's, you know, whether you, you are a believer or not, focusing on the universe or yourself or whatever that is, but focusing on the here in the moment in the present, because that is where all worry subsides. That's where all doubt subsides. That's where the fear subsides. Everything just, it mitigates. And it's one of the coolest things because I, I you know, when you have that at the forefront of your mind, it alleviates the pressures to perform and produce, especially when we're going up against something that we don't know the answers to. And so we try, okay, we got to do this, we got to do that. And we're constantly do, 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 right? We're busy. We're busying ourselves with busy work in the doing when, when that's the case. And this is from my experience, that's a trigger for me to just pull back, let go, surrender and be like, I don't know what I'm doing. And I turn inward. And they start having these conversations. And it sounds like I'm talking to myself, but somebody's answering. And exactly. Right. Every time. It's not me answering my own questions. Because if I had the answers, I wouldn't be asking them. But in, the, in those moments, you get quiet. You turn inward. And it's that little whisper, that little nudge, that little knowing. And all of a sudden, it's like, yeah, I got it. And even though you could say that you got it, but... If you weren't in that present moment to receive it, where else would it have come? Right. And so I always take those three folds, you know, from your past, to your present, to your future. And in this present moment is where we're creating our future. That, that's so and that's the only thing that's guaranteed. Mm -hmm. So after we're so focused on the future, we're so focused on the past that we forget this beautiful gift, right? This gift that is the present. Mm -hmm. Because this moment in time, you cannot get time back, no matter how hard you try. And that was my biggest tipping point is when I realized today is the only day that is guaranteed. No matter how much money I make, I cannot buy back this moment in time right now. And that, I think, really required me to take that proverbial leap of faith. Mm -hmm. It's like you said, it's really having that trust. It's really fully surrendering. And when you do that, such beautiful, beautiful things have now the possibility to happen. There's opportunities presenting themselves. That right there is faith. Exactly. And I love that. And I feel like that's a great way to wrap up today's session because next week we'll be talking about crafting a vision for your life and business. And I think that that really comes, again, we can only go so far in our vision and in our life. We put our trust in our faith. That's our creator guiding us, leading us. And we're going to set the stage for that next week when we really talk, talk about the bigger vision, like what does that look like? And what is our role and our responsibility in that vision? Right. Because even though we say, mm -hmm. yeah, especially if we're a solo preneur or even, you know, a, as an entrepreneur, maybe we have a small team, but we have such varying responsibilities and roles. But the one thing that we're not is the be it all and do it all. And that will alleviate again that pressure. 
So we're going to dive into that next week. So I'm excited. And I'm excited. <laughs> I, think, I mean, this, this series, the whole series that we're doing has been so impactful even on our own lives because this, this is literally seasons and chapters of our experiences and being in business for all these years that we get to have a platform that we get to share pieces of this and little snippets and hopefully these little bite-sized moments will provide you with some inspiration, encouragement, and empowerment to go out there and create a life and a business you love, but built on faith and trust. Awesome. So thank you guys so much for joining us today. And we look forward to seeing you next week.